Hello everyone. First of all, extremely sorry because I'm publishing this video after a very long time. And of course that is because of the some personal reason. Hope I will ensure that uh, the continuity should be maintained uh, going forward. And I really thank that even this time frame, I got a lot of comments from you people. And I will try to ensure that when I address all those comments uh, in the coming video. Uh, because some people ask for the, uh, for the fetching the option change data in Excel sheet and uh, in some other way so that that i will i will take care later uh, but let us come to the agenda of this session so here i'm going to uh, discuss on the fifth point where i'm going to extend the previous functionality what was the previous uh, functionality the previous functionality was to fetch the option chain data for a given expiry date on a terminal console okay so every time we have to give the date and then we have to fetch the option chain data uh, but you know that one, the option chain data has a multiple expiry dates. It comes in the list. Okay. If you see here, this is the NSC website for option chain data. And you can see that one, this is the list. So if you want to see the option chain data for the multiple uh, different, different dates, uh, how you can do that one. So this is the functionality I added that when you can press up and down arrow key and you can toggle this data and you can see the data of a different different expiry date uh, corresponding to that date on a same screen. Okay. So for example, you can see that one. Um, let me run the code. So this is the code here. <clears throat> okay, this data is quite big, so maybe the screen is it's not fitting in the screen. But if you go up, you can see that one. This it is basically from the second November 2023 expiry date. If I go to that one, second um, November 2023, you can see that one. This big list of the data is here. So if I want to see the next 9th November, I can press down arrow key. Okay. So if I press down arrow key, uh, data are refreshed and you can go back to the top and you can see that is a 9th number. So data is quite big ended because of that when it is showing a little bit over screen. So let me come to the smaller data like 26 September 2024. If I press down key multiple times, 28th March data you can see on the screen properly. Let me see that one. 28th March 2024. I think this is the data. 28th March 2024. And you can see that one. This is the data coming in a tabular format. And if you see that one next is 27th June. See if I press down key, you can see that one. It is changed to 27th June and data is coming for the 27th June. If I press escape key, I can come out. And same way, you can press up and down key and you can go to the previous expiry date and you can go to the next expiry date. It will be in a circular loop. So let me quickly show you that one, that how this code is written. And of course, I will not go through the, uh, the previous content because actually the code is already written. Only I added the functionality that how we can use the arrow key to toggle the dates. So mainly I will focus that one, how I have added this functionality, but how to fetch the data and display for a date. The detail is already covered in the previous video, but quickly I will cover in a very small time frame so that it should not be totally uh, new to you. Uh, let us quickly go to the code. <laughs> this, is, this is the code actually, which I'm going to walk through that one. So most of the libraries already I discussed in the previous session, JSON, Time, Request, Panda, etc. Two libraries I added here new, Tablet and uh, this uh, MSVCRT. The tablet library is to basically print the data in a some pretty format actually in tabular format if i go back you can see that some boundaries are coming here okay if i 
don't give use this tablet library this boundary will not come data will not come in a very beautiful format or formatted way so for that one i use this one and this uh, ms uh, vcrt is added to uh, trap the keys that is the get sketch and kb two uh, um, uh, methods are imported from here to trap the keys active when we press up and down arrow key or escape key then this method is used to trap the keys actually and i have done a list here the key mapping so when see that 72 80 27 is the ascii value of up down and escape key because i'm going to use up down and escape key yeah. so when we press up key uh, through the get ch i will trap the up key uh, from the keyboard and the value will be 72 and i will check if the value is 72 then i will take appropriate action okay so and these these are the uh, functions which already i have written and already i have explained actually okay these are the create oc json data to fetch the data in the json format and the create the dictionary uh, delete some unwanted columns fields okay and here is the basically generate the final data everything i've explained in the previous video please watch the previous video and here is the display oc data uh, function which is used to display the oc data and it tests two parameter oc full data okay with expiry date so this oc full data expiry date actually <laughs> if you see that one Just cleaning everything when the final data is prepared okay fine then it's written the full data full data means it has all the data for all the expiry dates okay and then it, it is a dictionary to the json format so what you can do that one you based on the expiry date you can extract the data belongs to belonging to the particular expiry date so see when i'm passing two parameters full expiry date full data and expiry date so when i pass the expiry date then based on the expiry date it takes the call data and put data it fetch and then it display here tablet method is used to put the data in a pretty format formatted way and it print everything okay so this is the function which basically use especially based on that one so let me come to the main function if you see that one here these all the things are explained in the previous video to extract the full data so one full data is available oc full data is available okay and everything is there actually then i create a, a list of the expiry date from here you see that when this is the multiple expiry date so i prepare a list okay of this date okay if you see that one okay from oc full data keys i prepare the expiry dates and what i do that one i initialize the value, value uh, variable ed underscore i that is expiry date index so zero means first expiry date one means this expiry date two means this expiry date okay and this is a use to read the particular date when i press the arrow key so see kb hit is basically i put a uh, while loop okay so what happened uh, when you have this while loop is it true then it is concurrency in the loop what kb hit does it comes and wait here okay and the moment you press any key it goes inside okay this get ch function is called and it returns the ascii value of the key you pressed so it comes in the variable key so i have shown you that one in the top 72 is the ascii value for the up 80 down 27 escape key so i did a mapping also so when i will press up arrow key it will return 72 and then i will find two dl indexes basically i will get through this function what i will do that one i will fetch the which key is pressed in the in the word format 72 is print press then i will fetch if up arrow key pressed so let us come back to the here and if you see that one if it is a escape key is pressed okay it will break it will come out from the loop else if any other key is pressed it will not do anything if key press is up means 72 then if ed underscore i is equal to zero what it is doing here actually okay <clears throat> come here actually if you see this sheet see this is the list of the expiry date okay so i'm preparing a list of these expiry date okay and this list index zero is this date to november 2023 one is this one 
two is this one. So ed underscore zero is this one. Ed underscore one is this one. Ed underscore two is this one like this. Okay. So this means that when if you're here on the index zero and if you're pressing up arrow key, then you have to come back to the last one. Okay. In a circular fashion. So how you can come to the last one? How you can point to the last one? You have a list of the value. For example, if you have a 10 values, okay, you take the length of this list and do minus one. So you will come to the last. I think it's 17 values here. So if you press up arrow key further, it will take the length of the value and it will do minus one. So it will point to the last ed underscore one underscore i underscore i will point to the uh, last value. But you if somewhere you're here, for example, 28 December, and if you press up arrow key, then it can just simply do a minus one minus one minus one okay in the same way if you are basically somewhere here and if you're pressing down key then it will add the one to the ed underscore i here here like this and if you're here then it will check that one if you are on the last value of the array then it will set to the zero that is this one okay in the reverse order so let us come back to the code actually so see that one if you are pressing up key and if ed underscore i is equal to zero this means that one is date array index value is pointing to the top value then it will take the length of the array it will do minus one so that it will point to the last one otherwise if it is somewhere in the mid it will do a minus one okay so it will it can go to the up in same way if you press down key and if it is in the last okay it will do a check if it is the last, it will set the value zero so that it should go to the top. Otherwise, it will add plus one. That's it. So the index value is set. Then it will clear the screen. It will print the expiry date. Okay, this is the array. And what it will do again, it will call a display OC data function with full OC data function and passing expiry date as an argument. And it will show all the detail what you have seen on the screen here. Okay. Mm -hmm. It will show it validate it will press another line and this data will come from the this function and it will be again go back to the loop and it will wait for the kb so this is a very simple code and this is the additional part which i've added to basically handle the toggling of the dates using the arrow key please go through the code try to understand if you have any problem uh, write me in the comment i will try to solve your problem i will try to address all your issues okay and uh, if you're uh, if you like this video like the like the video okay uh, that's all uh, for this session thank you very much appreciate your time